I'm here with Cathy Pickles, who's won a gold medal today for her um, 16 um, paintings of fritillaries and hellebores, and um, is selling fast and furious as well. Uh, so, Cathy, can you tell us a little bit about um, your experience of the RHS because this is not your first visit and not your first gold medal, is it? No, I exhibited between 1991 and 1996, so five years running, and I got the gold medal each time. But uh, it was very, very different than in well, that we didn't have these boards for a start, they're very different from the board. Um, so, um, in, in many ways, it was similar, but um, probably not so many people from Japan and um, elsewhere. Um, so I just thought I'd get another go. <laughs> and well done, because you, you've pulled it off and got another gold. Yeah, quite a surprise. <laughs> Tell us why you decided to submit two gold winning entries. <laughs> I well, should explain that um, there are eight hellebores and eight fritillaries. Yeah. Well, I wasn't absolutely certain which I wanted to do, so I was just working on things that I thought would be... I wanted to do fritillaries and hellebores, but I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. And in the end, I had 16 paintings, and I just thought, well, I can't decide, so I'll just put all of them in. <laughs> and because I, I didn't think that none of them are really big paintings, so they fit fairly quite well onto the two boards. Yeah. What sort of, um, did you get any feedback from the judges about not, them? Not yet. Um, right. Apparently Gillian Barlow is on her way around, but I haven't seen her recently, right. so she okay. may have gone home. Okay. <laughs> um, what would be your tips for people entering um, who've, who've maybe been in RHS before and have been thinking, maybe I won't? Uh, what, what, what would you give us tips? I, I think paint what you love. Paint yeah. what you re really like to paint. Mm -hmm. Don't try too much to second guess what the judges want. If you're passionate about what you're doing, mm -hmm. and, and uh, as long as you're confident that you can paint it with accuracy and with a certain amount of artistry, then, then go for it. You know? uh -huh. um, that, that's all I would say. And you were telling me that despite the fact you're living in Orkney, you're growing all your plants yourself? Oh, yes. I mean, the, um, the hellebores come from either my garden or a friend's garden. The, um, the um, fritillaries, um, I've got a couple of them in my garden, just the, the more yeah. ordinary ones, but the other ones I, I bought as bulbs or corns or whatever they yeah. are and, and just grew them on in pots in my greenhouse uh -huh. so whether or not they come up next year is another matter but I've, I've got the painting out of them yeah. <laughs> uh, I should explain at this point I have a booking for the, one of the next <laughs> flowers <laughs> hopefully it will produce the same number of flowers <laughs> okay um, and as an experienced botanical artist looking back over your career what do you think um, was the decision you're most pleased you took in terms of um, choices you had? Um, um, well, that's a difficult one. Um, I think just, just to have a look at other people's work and, and just keep doing it. And, uh, um, and uh, yes, I can't really think of a, a particular decision, but coming to the RHS, Having a look around the show and actually see it thinking, oh, I would really like to do this, yeah. was the best decision. Which I was living in Orkney at the time and I yeah. didn't, hadn't heard about RHS exhibits. And someone came to one of my exhibitions, this was talking about 1989, yeah. and said to my husband, not even to me, well, your wife should consider exhibiting at the RHS. And so I was slightly intrigued, so I found out about it. And coincidentally, the time I came down and showed my work to somebody, yeah. uh, it wasn't a full committee, it was just somebody I met yeah. here, I would, there was also an SBA exhibition on, and I got a really good look at what people were doing, and then just went away inspired. So I think it's... So come and look at the come and look at Come and look at things and see whether you want to do it. Brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Cathy. Oh, you're welcome.